All right, welcome back. This is MTG Buddha. I've got a hobby box of Topps Heritage from 2024 that we're going to be cracking open, seeing what we can find. Uh, there should be a box topper, some either an autograph or memorabilia card. And from what I've been seeing, it's around one in five boxes that have autographs in it this year, which kind of sucks. I thought they were supposed to be making this product a little better. So we did get a big box topper. So we got a Jim Cat box topper. We'll set that over to the side here and we'll get these packs out. We'll start going through the packs. Uh, if you like these videos, I'd appreciate if you click like and subscribe. Uh, it'll help the, help the channel out and it'll help you to know when there's more videos as well so you can come back and watch them. Um, we're going to go through this box and hopefully we'll find something good in here. But we'll see what we find. Back then it won't come apart. So there should be a short print in one in every three packs. Um, most of the time the short prints do come up backwards, so it's easy to find them and go know that it's a short print where in the past it hasn't been. Um, but hopefully we should find those one in every three packs. Um, should be one autograph or relic in here. Hopefully we will get lucky and pull an autograph. Maybe it'll be of a good player. Somebody that I collect, hopefully. There is a chance that like things with like the 1975 stamp cards, I believe, in here, and some other things like that that you can pull as well. There are image variations, uh, nickname variations, things like that. Uh, I saw where someone in one of my Facebook groups pulled a. Uh, Garrett Cole that instead of having his name Garrett Cole it said the claw so I didn't actually know that was a nickname for Garrett Cole but evidently it is so we're gonna crack this first half of the box and see what we can find in it hopefully we find something good there also should be um, two white border cards in here because every 12 packs you should find a white border card so hopefully we'll find a, a good one of that. I'd like to find a Ronald Acuna or an Ellie. So I'm going to be setting the rookies in a pile back here by themselves. We'll go through here. Oh, Michael Harris. I'm going to set that back there. The players that I collect, I'm going to set back there as well. And then we'll set an insert pile back here as well. So, so another rookie. Hopefully we'll find some good rookies in here. Um, let's see, I think these are just part of the set. They're not actually a insert, but it, this one does have Ronald Acuna on it. So I'm going to set that one back there because I do collect Ronald as a Braves faithful. All right, so we've got Martinez, rookie. Another rookie. All right, so far none of the good rookies. We've got a Spencer Strider. Here's our first short print, and this is Chris Stratton. And this one is numbered 28. So we're going to set short prints back here. So that way I can keep them separate. George Brett Mike Smith uh, All-Star card. Or MVP card. Trey Cabbage. Let's see if we can get one of the good rookies. All right, there's our first white border card. That's a decent one. That's a Corbin Carroll. We'll sleeve that up. All right, we'll put that in the good pile. There's a rookie. And she enters our next short print. Is a Bailey Falter. All right, got a couple rookies there, but not the rookies we're looking for. So I'm trying to pay attention also and make sure that there's not any that are missing the autograph because that is another thing to look out for. There's a lot of different things to look for on these, so it's kind of easy sometimes to miss some of that stuff trying to look for the rookie symbol look to make sure there's an autograph look to see who the player is all that sort of stuff sometimes it's easy to miss something 
So here's a Jason Dominguez. We'll go ahead and sleeve Jason Dominguez up. All right, looks like we've got another short print coming up. And this one is going to be Stuart Fairchild. Short print. That's our third short print of the box. There's a Max Freed. We'll put that in the good pile. Ronald Acuna. He goes in the good pile. All right, one more stack left of these, and then we'll get into that second stack from this box. So Brian Wu, Evan Carter, we'll sleeve Evan Carter up. See the short print real quick though. Austin Hayes is the short print, number 13. We'll set Henry Davis over here and we'll go on and sleeve this Evan Carter up. And then we'll crack through this next stack and see if we can find anything good in there. We haven't found our auto or our relic yet, so we should get that out of this stack here. If we don't find a thick card, that means we got an auto. Hopefully we got lucky and got an auto box. Like I said, I think it's one in five boxes roughly right now that are autos, is what I heard. So, I think it's around 110 packs for an auto. Something like that. So, it's one in every four or five boxes probably. Alright, so we should get some more short prints from this stack. Should get one more white border card out of this stack. So we should get two per box, one every 12 packs. So we should get another white border here. Like I said, we should be getting another, getting our auto or relic. Hopefully we will pull a auto, not a relic. Um, let's see, this one feels a little thick maybe. I don't know, that might not be. Trying to see if I can see a thick card. If I see a thick card, I know we we don't have an auto, but I'm not sure if I see any thick cards right now. Yeah, I don't know if I see a thick card, so we might actually have an auto in this box. If we do, that's going to be a good luck. All right, so it looks like I see a chrome possibly peeking out down there too. So hopefully we'll find at least one number card in this box. I have seen a box or two that have been opened that didn't have a numbered card though. So maybe we'll get lucky and not be one of the people who gets a box without a numbered card in it. All right, so there's Abbott. He's got the rookie card and the rookie cup. So, oh, we got an auto. Nice. So we did get an auto out of here. So we got a Jordan Adams. And of course, all these have autos on them, but they're facsimiles. This one, you can tell, you can tell the real ones because they will have this Tops certified autograph issue thing on it. Uh, this is probably not going to be numbered. Yeah, no, it's not numbered. But we did get an autograph, so that's good. We're going to go on and put that in the top loader. So we got lucky with this box and got an auto. Uh, unfortunately, it was not one of the big rookies or one of the big stars from the set. So it would have been nice if it was, but we didn't get one of those. We're going to set that over here. Now, like I said, I think we do have coming up here in a minute, we should have in the, one of the next couple stacks that I go through should have a um, numbered card probably. It looks like we've got a chrome card. Here's our first short print of this stack, number 41, Kyle Finnegan. I think I've already opened him in one of my videos, if not this one. Let's see, Riley Green. All right, AJ Smith Schauber. I am going to sleeve this one. I know he's not considered what one of the top rookies, but as a Braves fan, he's getting a sleeve. Because the best way to do this hobby is to do it to find things that make you happy. And Braves cards make me happy. So, Orlando Arcia, we'll put him back there as well. You know what? We're going to put this Corbin Carroll back there. I'm going to put the Vaughn Grissom back there because, you know, he was a Brave. He's not a Brave anymore, but I still like him. So. All right, so we're trying to pay attention to a lot of different things on here, hoping we don't miss anything. Uh, once I get done, I'll 
probably pause and go back through all the cards and see if I can see if I missed anything potentially because it's easy to miss stuff in this. So here's our numbered card. It's going to be an Emmett Sheehan Chrome. So we did get a rookie for our Chrome. And was it numbered? Yeah, it's numbered on the front this year. So numbered out of 575. So we'll get that sleeved up. I like the chromes this year. I think they look pretty nice. Yeah. Focus keeps trying to go out. There we go. All right. So we'll set that over here. And we got another short print. Well, maybe not. Maybe I just set it upside down. All right. Here's our short print. All right. So our short print was Brandon Dury. Got a Bryce Elder. It's Reese Hoskins. All right, let's see. All right, let's go to the next stack, see if we can find anything good here. There's a rookie. Should be getting a couple more short prints. Say so we got lucky and pulled an auto out of here, although it wasn't quite the auto I was hoping to have pulled. There's a Charlie Morton, we'll set him back there. All right, another rookie. And we got another short print coming. Here's Corbin Curl. So we got a Francisco Mejia. Again, I believe that's a short print I've already pulled. So. Austin Wells. Aaron Judge. I guess we'll set the Mookie back there. As much as I hate the Dodgers. All right. Let's see. Forest Wall rookie card. Ronald Acuna card. And there's a white card. So we got a Emerson Hancock short print uh, on the white stock. Let's see, and is he, yeah, he's number 320. So let's see, another rookie. We'll set Joey Votto back there. All right, here's another short print. This is our last short print of the box. We got a Brendan Rogers. All right, so this box wasn't too bad. We got a couple of white cards. We got two whites. Uh, we got a Emerson Hancock, and we got a Corbin Carroll on the white. So that's probably the best white that we got. Uh, we got a, let's see, we got AJ smith Shaver, which is a rookie that I like, and an Evan Carter and a Jason Dominguez. So we got two of the top rookies. We didn't get an Ellie yet. And we did get a numbered card. So we got the Emmett Sheehan Rookie Chrome. That's numbered to 575. And then we got this autograph. So Jordan Adams. So it's a rookie auto. Hopefully he'll turn out to be a good player. Um, but yeah, so we got an autograph out of this box. So we beat the odds because the odds are you're getting a... a relic card but hopefully you enjoyed this video if you did click like subscribe come back and i've got a second box i'm opening of this and also opening two blaster boxes and two hanger boxes in videos as well so i'd appreciate if you click like and subscribe and have a good day thanks